It's not uncommon to see a great horned owl at dusk if you're walking around in the desert, but it's still very exciting. It's more common to hear them hooting to each other from the trees or from on top of telephone poles. These large nocturnal predators have one of the widest ranges of any predatory bird in North America. Actually, some of their range extends into Central and South America too. There are many subspecies because these birds don't migrate, and so the area where they live becomes their habitat for life. This leads to sort of an island effect where birds that live in different geographic areas develop slightly differently. They all have several things in common though, they have the tufted ear feathers. Of course, they're not really ears, and scientists don't actually know what their purpose is entirely. Their eyes are almost as large as ours, but they see much better at night than ours do. Compared to the owl's size, its eyes are actually one of the largest of any terrestrial vertebrate species. The owls also rely on hearing to hunt, and it's estimated that their ability to hear is 10 times better than our own. To continue the owl to human comparison, it's also interesting to note that the grip strength of the owl's talons is much stronger than anything that a human hand can exert. Actually, the grip strength of an owl's talons is comparable to larger birds like golden eagles. The primary way that an owl kills its prey is actually to crush it with its feet, though they may also pierce it with the talons or use the beak to kill it ultimately as well. Great horned owls are pretty well evolved to urban habitats. They've adjusted well to living around us. Their natural prey, like small rodents and rabbits, also live fairly easily around human settlements. They'll eat other birds and rodents, and there are even reports of great horned owls taking small dogs like chihuahuas, and of course they'll take out a cat if they have the opportunity. But they're usually polite, if mysterious, neighbors. Thanks for watching Lo-Fi Outdoors. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more like it, please subscribe.